This is a budding rose moment, a celebration of 25 years. was a year of great transition and anticipation in the SMLAC and that was because Sora Marie Dunn had been newly elected and we were having opportunities to look at what we were going to do going forward and we had one soror, Stephanie Perrymore, who came up with a great idea of a debutante. It was a phone call from Stephanie Perrymore. It was the beginning of the biennium of my uh, presidency. She left with me with things to think about in terms of, can we do this? I had the wonderful opportunity to talk to Royce Lovejohn and say, oh my gosh, you love Debbie Ty like me. What do you think? Can we pitch this? Could we have seniors only? And please, could they wear the same gown? And we want this to be a sisterhood amongst, you know, seniors in high school, a culminating event, a jumping the broom experience, so to speak. Just something amazing. A core group of us got together and said, all right, it's a great idea, but let's put this thing on paper. Let's get a real business plan and let's um, talk about how this can change lives, but as well as make, you know, some hopefully some great funds for the chapter that can move to scholarship. And before you know it, we all were on board. And some Soros had daughters and nieces and cousins. We all had neighbors. There were we had many educators in the chapter that were in these schools, and we got a class of girls just like that. But knowing that uh, bringing on a number of girls, young young ladies into it, that would be our seed, you know, to get things started. It was truly a community. Um, we had parents in the room, grandparents all the Deltas in their lovely red gowns. We had sister chapters that were there to support. It just was a night of pride. They needed their own version of a sisterhood kind of song. And so the debutante hymn just encapsulated everything, that they're budding rose, blooming and blossoming into a beautiful creation. We wanted all of our roses to be beautiful, to be blossoming, and to achieve great things. So I think I have the same feeling now, thinking about 25 years later that I had probably 25 years ago, and seeing it with my own eyes, a part of history. And I didn't even know it, because we were just grateful for that one time but it did so well and it made such an impact that so many others were able to experience it as well.